Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here, and I want to talk to you about auto-rebooting on HP Stream tablets. Actually, this will work for any Windows computer. So, anyway, what you gotta do first is you gotta go to the Start, and you need to find a search bar. And I just want you to find the program Schedule Tasks. I believe it's also called Task Scheduler on Windows 7. They might have changed the name slightly and the layout as well on how you find that search bar, but I think it's called a start menu on either Windows 7 or Windows 8, and it's in the bottom left corner. But anyway, once you open up Task Scheduler or Schedule Tasks, you need to create a basic task. So find the sidebar and create a basic task. And I'm just going to call it Reboots. As you probably saw, I already have one, but this is for the purposes of the tutorial, so I'm just going to put a T at the end so I know which one's which. And I usually just make a note to myself on how many times I'm going to be rebooting a day with it. Next, you, got, you have to make a trigger on when you want to start it. This will be daily. I guess you could do weekly, but I always prefer reboots daily, as with Android and iOS devices. So we'll do it daily, and then we have to configure this. I'll do it sometime a little bit into the future, like 4.17 today at 15 seconds. To make it easy, I'll do 0, zero and recur every one day, synchronize across time zones. That doesn't matter at all because we should keep our devices stationary for money making. You're actually going to be starting a program for rebooting. I know that sounds weird because, well, it's a reboot, but the program is called shutdown.exe. So type that there. Arguments. You need dash R. That, that stands for reboot. If you don't do that, it's just going to shut down and not boot up, which is very bad, unless you do some other uh, task that'll reboot it later. But I prefer just to do a reboot. And then I also like dash T because it gives me a warning if I'm on it doing something or whatever through either this VNC connection or whatnot. And that, that's just, I'll show you in a minute, but a message is going to pop up on the screen 30 seconds before it's run. And start an optional, we don't need that. And that's basically the basics of what you need to do. A few other things I like to do, if you go to the window where you can see all your tasks and double click or use this window down here, you can edit uh, certain parameters about your task. And what I like to do is run whether user is logged on or not and run with the highest privileges. Configure for that's not our, our operating system. We have a Windows 8.1 computer right here. Triggers, you can add more triggers here. So I, if you notice, I encompassed all of my reboot re, um, events in the same task. So we have one here in my main task for a morning time, a midday, and an evening time every single day. So I would go through and add new reboot task here, but it's basically done the same way. You pick your start time and um, it's going to do the same thing. It's just a different trigger. So the same event, different trigger. This is just a list of actions that you'd be doing right now. It's just a shutdown program. That's all I'm using it for. This is important right here. Conditions, start the task only if the computer is on AC power. I will not have that selected because you know all my devices are on a timer. So if let's say that the timer's off at that moment and they're not charging, no, I still want it to reboot. This I like to have on, but you really don't need it. And that's that's basically it. That's all that I do with this menu. And now the task is pretty much fully configured. You have to enter your password. So now I'm just going to wait for this to go at 4.17 today. This is that message I was talking about. We just hit 4.17 p.m. So from that time, since I added a flag of dash T30, it's going to wait 30 seconds until it actually shuts down. So this will be on the screen for another 20 or so seconds. And then no matter what, it's, it's going to shut down, even if I click close. If you don't have dash T, this won't have time to appear. It's just going to immediately restart or shut down. All right, so that tablet just turned on again, and my VNC server should reconnect automatically. There we go. And yeah, that's basically how you do scheduled reboots on any Windows device. And if you noticed, my tablet went straight to the regular desktop, the one we had in Windows 7, not the Windows 8, Windows 10 start menu. And this is actually something I did in settings. And I'm going to add this to the and set up uh, Windows devices for making money. I think the YouTube video on my channel is titled How to Set Up HP Streams for Making Money. I can leave that video in your cards right now. I've added that configuration, though, as well as a configuration so I don't have to log Log on every time so I can add those to that file. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful to you. And check out the Money Volcano if you haven't. That's still giving away $1 every single day. There's social media that can notify you of that. 
And make sure you, if you have any questions, you contact me on the forum or Twitter, Facebook group. You can send me an email too. But I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today, and I want to make a quick update video for the Money Volcano. I created this giveaway system a few months ago, as well as a video about it. If you want more information, I'll leave that video on the screen. In a synopsis format, it's just a way to give away Amazon gift cards. The Volcano is 